All right, he's been the governor of Louisiana for the last four years, dealing with everything from the recovery of New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina to last year's Gulf oil spill to reducing the state's budget. It has not been easy. But this weekend, Governor Bobby Jindal actually faces a re-election bid. And the governor joins us live from Baton Rouge. Good morning to you, Governor. Good morning, guys. Thank you for having me back on the show. You're welcome. Well, this is a little bit of a different kind of a, a system that you have in Louisiana. Tell us what's going to happen on Saturday. We've got what's called an open primary. Everybody runs regardless of party. I've got nine opponents, Democrat. We don't have any Republican opponents, independent, other opponents. If you get 50 percent plus one, you, you win election in the primary. Four years ago, for the first time in our state's history as a non-incumbent, I won election in the primary. We didn't need a runoff. Our goal is to win again tomorrow. We're running on a record of fiscal conservatism. For the last four years, we've cut government spending 26 percent, cut government spending $9 billion, got fewer state employees than we've had in over 20 years. Yet at the same time, our credit ratings are higher than they've been in 25 years. For our unemployment rates below the national and southern average, southern business development three years in a row has rated Louisiana the best state in the south for economic development. For 12 months in a row, we've seen private sector employment go up. 12 months in a row, we've seen government jobs go down. So Louisiana is headed in the right direction. We've made the tough choices. Unlike Washington, D.C., unlike President Obama, we understand Government doesn't create jobs. When you cut government spending, when you cut taxes, by the way, we also enacted the largest income tax cut in our state's history. Hmm. That's how you create good paying private sector jobs. That's fantastic. Uh, you know, I don't have to tell you over the last year or so, a lot of people have talked about you for perhaps uh, running for president or vice president. You're not running for president, but you are supporting somebody who is, and that is Rick Perry. Uh, what did you make of the debate the other night? Because a lot of people have said, you know, that's just not helpful the way the top yeah, a guy, Mitt Romney, and Rick Perry went after each other. Well, a couple of things. One, uh, presidential politics is kind of like SEC football. It, it, it's a contact, <laughs> full contact sport. It, it's a tough battle. For too many years, the Republican Party, we've kind of pre-selected our candidate. I'm glad there's a, a rough and tumble debate because that'll make our eventual nominee stronger. The reality is we need somebody who's going to be strong enough to beat President Obama. I am supporting Rick Perry. The reality is uh, I think either of the, those guys, both of them have been governors, both uh, Governor Romney and Governor Perry would be better than President Obama. I will support whoever our nominee is. The reason I'm supporting Rick is you look at his track record in Texas. They've created nearly half the jobs created in America in the last couple of years. You've seen under President Obama, we've lost over two million jobs. Under Governor Perry, they've created over a million jobs. He's cut taxes 65 times, $14 billion, and acted tough to form. He understands what it's going to take right. to get this country back on track. Now he's going to propose this flat tax proposal, seriously cutting taxes, revamping the tax code. Here's the fundamental difference between Governor Perry and President Obama. President Obama had never run anything other than his campaign before he was elected president. We don't just need another good debater. We need somebody who's actually, as a governor, right. as a business executive, balanced a budget, made some tough decisions. And, Governor, uh, I don't have to tell you the polls aren't looking good, unlike uh, about a month ago. Uh, look at this. Mitt Romney out in front, according to the last AP poll. Herman Cain is second overall in popularity. Then Rick Perry down to 13, although he's got $17 million. And he's got Ron Paul at 8%. Overall, the tactic of bringing up Mitt Romney's lawn care uh, company, uh, Rick Santorum yesterday said, I don't really understand why he brought it up. Do you understand why he brought it up? Well, look, two things. One, I think both Governor Perry and Governor Romney understand that President Obama has failed to secure the border. And I think at the end of the day, both these governors understand that we can't continue to have an open border. We need to use whatever it takes to secure our border, stop this problem of illegal gotcha. immigration. The answer is not amnesty. And I think both governors understand that. Governor, real quickly before you go, because one of the things that Rick Perry slid in the polls from, people say, is because of his in-state tuition for illegals. Do you agree with him on that? I don't, and he and I aren't going to agree 100 percent on everything, but I do respect the fact they've spent $400 million of Texas taxpayer dollars to help secure the border. We're not going to agree on 100 percent of everything, but I do agree that he has cut taxes, created jobs, and that's the track record we need for America. Well, listen, uh, we know you've got a busy uh, weekend. You've got that open primary tomorrow. You, uh, the candidates have got to get at least 50 percent, and I just read on NOLA.com uh, there was a poll by WWL, the TV station down there, if the election were held when they did the poll, you would get 57 percent. So I think you'll have a good weekend. Governor, thank you very much for joining us. Well, we're hoping so. I just right. want to remind all your viewers to vote. Thank you, guys. Sure. All right. We'll see you again soon. Special for you in Louisiana.